I teach introduction to business, I teach marketing, uh, principles of management, supervision, uh, HR management, labor management relations. Well, before I came to Metropolitan Community College, I was an uh, instructor at another school for a couple of years. Prior to that, I was the training and development manager at a high-speed injection molding factory. And before that, I was a, the quality manager at a place that made uh, really expensive window coverings. I teach a lot of management classes, and one thing I learned that in America we're not great managers. And I, I tell stories all the time about my time out in the corporate world, and sometimes the examples aren't great, but it really does provide nice, uh, nice examples for my classroom discussion. Well, I'm originally from La Crosse, Wisconsin, a small town in uh, southwest uh, Wisconsin. Um, my education, I got a, my undergrad degree is from Wayland Baptist University and I finished that in Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, after that we came to Omaha and I got a master's degree in uh, management from Bellevue University and then a couple of years later went back and got an MBA from Bellevue. You know, as I said, I had a classmate once turn around during a class and ask me a question. And when I answered the question, she said, you know, you explained that better than he explains that or than our instructor explains that. And that was, that was while I was still uh, going to school. And then after that, I knew that this was something I wanted to do. And so there wasn't necessarily anything from my work in, in, uh, in these corporations or at these factories that inspired me to teach. Um, but they but they were a nice foundation for business sense and business acumen that I was going to need uh, to teach business classes at Metropolitan Community College. Well, I was teaching at another school and uh, they had an opening uh, and a job posting and so I applied. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm not sure really what it was from my resume that, that got me an interview, but one of the things I included was um, uh, some comments from students, uh, and, and one of them I'll never forget was, uh, I, you know, I've, I've talked about going to college for 10 years, and from the very first minute of Steve's class, I wondered why I didn't do it a decade ago. And I thought, and yeah, that made me feel pretty good, not that I had a huge influence in, in that, but, um, and so I included that in my package, and those kinds of things are pretty pretty satisfying, and they don't happen very often, um, but, it, and I don't know if that got me the interview or not, but uh, it definitely worked out well for me. I just love it here. So. And here, um, it seemed like a day after the dean called and offered me the job, I started getting calls from other people on the staff congratulating me for the job, and, and I thought that was pretty special. I really appreciate the relationship between the faculty and the staff and the administration, and it really is all one big uh, happy family. But, you know, the thing that really excites me about teaching is it's not so much what happens day to day in the classroom, but it, periodically throughout the course of the year I'll run into a student, sometimes it's in, a, in the grocery store and sometimes it's in the hallway here. And you always wonder if they remember you or recognize you because they have busy lives. And once in a while one of them will stop and say, you know what, you had a hard class, but it really prepared me for my next class and I appreciate that. Um, and so that's the thing that kind of keeps me going, that, that affirmation that, yeah, it's tough, but if you apply yourself and if you work hard, it really will prepare you for those future classes and that, for that career life. Well, my greatest challenge in the classroom is I have to get over internally the belief that I have to deliver something. Because the more that I'm talking, the less the students are doing and the less they're doing, the less they're learning. And so as we shift into hybrid classrooms and things like that, I really have to th br throttle myself back and learn not to talk so much, to let them talk more, to let them do more. Because for centuries, and this is my teaching philosophy, for centuries we taught people to work by having them do work. In the last 50 years in education, we've gotten the idea that we can teach people to work by standing in the front of the room and talking about work. And those are two entirely different things. And so in my classes, I really like to have students do a lot, and, and I like to have them talk, and them do, and me talk less. Um, you know, I, I, thought about, I thought about the brand for me a lot. 
since you asked me that uh, on the paper. And I think that um, you know, I would answer that by saying that my positioning statement for Steve Nichols and his teaching style would be um, quality, uh, quality every day, quality. Um, you get your money's worth. I, I hate to keep coming back to that, but when you come to the class, you're going to leave prepared, and that's kind of my 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 positioning statement. When you sit, after you sit in my class, you're going to leave prepared. Well, I'd like students to remember me for high standards, clear expectations, but at the end of it, uh, they got their money's worth. That they really then understood the concepts of business that we that we learned about in our class, and they were able to actually do the things their bosses are going to require them to do someday. You know, the most important thing is, the thing I want students to take away from my classes is the understanding that grades don't matter that much as long as the learning takes place. Um, I, in fact, I tell them all the time, 15 minutes after you graduate, you and your mom and your grandma might care what your GPA was, but very few other people are going to care. And so, your boss isn't going to ask you to define something. Your boss is going to ask you to do something. And so the important thing for you to take away from my class is that ability to do something. And that's what I stress to students. Yeah, I, I, you know, I do have a, a philosophy that I like to uh, remind students of. Uh, uh, life is a competition. And the students who are best prepared, the employees who are best prepared, are the most successful. And so if you, want, if you want success, if you want to be that person who, who succeeds beyond what everybody else does, then you have to be prepared. Um, yeah, you know, Metropolitan Community College and community colleges in general, um, they're a place for second chances and first choices. And so we get students uh, from both of those camps. We get people who choose us as their first choice. And we get people who have been out in the workplace beating their head against it every day for a decade. And for us, we're their second, ch or their second chance. And I really, I really want to say that Metropolitan Community College is, does a great job of welcoming both of those kinds of students and preparing both of those kinds of students for a future in their work life. I, I like to play some golf. My wife and I are building a, a little cabin on a lake a couple hours from here. so. Uh, most weekends in the summer we go up and work on that. I don't know if I call it fun, but <laughs> it, when it's done it will be fun. Uh, in the meantime it's just kind of hard work, but uh, we like, I like to fish and spend some time in the woods in the fall hunting. So. My name is Steve Nichols and I teach in the Business Management Department at Metropolitan Community College.